Hello students, welcome to ASN Chemistry. Today class I am going to teach you all reagents from haloalkanes and haloarenes chapter. See, these all reagents I am going to cover. You can observe, these all reagents are very very important for board exams and objective exams. So please watch complete video, definitely you will get benefit from this. First one, PCL3, PCL5, SOCl2, thionyl chloride, Lucas reagent. Equimolar mixture of concentrated HCl and anhydrous ZnCl2. Okay. So, what is the purpose of these four reagents? These four reagents' purpose is they convert alcohol into alkyl chloride. Okay. Here, OH group is replaced by chlorine. Alcohol is converted into alkyl halide. Let us take one example. C2H5, OH is there. C2H5, OH is there. Right. Whenever you take any of the reagents, any of the reagents here, OH group is replaced by chlorine. Okay, ethyl alcohol is converted into ethyl chloride. One more example I will take. See here. Let us take cyclohexanol. Cyclohexanol. What will happen? Tell me. Here, OH group is replaced by chlorine. Okay, first one. Next, second reagent. Bromine and red phosphorus. Bromine and red phosphorus. It will give PBr3. Right. So here, what is the purpose of this reagent? Here, alcohol is converted into alkyl bromide. Okay, this is the brominating agent. Okay, OH is replaced by bromine. Let us take one example C2H5OH, ethyl alcohol is there. Whenever you take PBr3, then what will you get? Tell me C2H5Br. Okay, ethyl bromide is formed. Next, third reagent. Same way, third reagent. Iodine and red phosphorus give Pi3 here. Same to same. Alcohol is converted into here iodine is the right alkyl iodide. Alkyl iodide. Let us take one example. C2H5OH ethyl alcohol is converted into C2H5 iodine, right? So iodine, ethyl iodide. Got it. Next reagent, very very important. AGF, right? Hz2F2. All these reagents are fluorinating agents. This reaction name is Schwartz reaction. These reagents we are using in the Schwartz reaction. In this reaction, Alkyl halide is converted into alkyl fluoride. Here halogen either chlorine or bromine. Chlorine or bromine. Okay, let us take one example. For example, you have CH3Cl. CH3Cl. Let us take AGF reagent. AGF. AGF. Fluorinating agent. Okay, here chlorine is replaced by fluorine. Chlorine is replaced by fluorine. Then what will you get? Tell me. CH3. For methyl chloride is converted into Methyl chloride is converted into methyl fluoride. What is the name of the reaction? Schwartz reaction. Named reaction. Important reaction. Next reagent is sodium iodide in dry acetone, which is used in Finkelstein reaction. Okay. Here in this reaction, alkyl halide is converted into alkyl iodide. Is there right? Alkyl iodide. Alkyl iodide. Okay. For example, let us take CH3Br. You can take either chlorine or bromine. Okay. CH3Cl if you take. Right. Here Cl minus is replaced by iodine. Okay. Then what will you get? Tell me. CH3 iodine. Right. Here in this case, X can be X can be either chlorine or bromine. Anything you can take. Got it. Next. Sixth one. Here in sixth one, I covered all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 reagents I have covered here. So ethyl chloride react with these reagents. First one, ethyl chloride react with aqueous KOH and aqueous NaOH. It means KOH is dissolved in the water. Solvent is water. Here, what happens? Look at this C2H5. Okay. In this case, Cl minus Cl minus is replaced by OH minus. So OH minus ethyl alcohol is formed. Okay. Next, here ethyl chloride is treated with KCN. KCN. Then how do you write? Tell me C2H5. Here Cl minus is replaced by Cn minus. Cn minus nitrile will be formed. Next third one. Ethyl chloride is treated with AgCN. So C2H5, C2H5. Remember, in this case, nitrogen is the attacking group. So nitrogen, so NC, isostand is formed. Next, KNO2. KNO2 when it react, C2H5. So in this case, ONO. Oxygen is the attacking atom. Okay. So here, ONO. Right. Nitrile will form. Next, AgNO2. If you take AgNO2, what will you get? C2H5, C2H5, in this case, nitrogen is the attacking site. So, NO2. Right. And next, if you take CH3COO, 
Ag, silver acetate, silver acetate. Here oxygen is the attacking site. Here oxygen it is attack. Then what will you get? Tell me. C two, C two, H five. Right. Then oxygen is there. It oxygen, oxygen, C, C H three. Ethyl acetate is formed. Ethyl acetate is formed. If you observe carefully, when silver is there in reagent, silver cyanide and silver nitrite. NO2 is attacking site NO2 sorry nitrogen is attacking site nitrogen is attacking site nitrogen nitrogen when you take KCN or KNO2 other than nitrogen here other than nitrogen what is there carbon here other than nitrogen what is there oxygen is there which is attacking reagent right next and if you see exactly in this case if you take KCN I'll take KCN example right KCN is ionic compound how it split K plus CN minus Right, so CN is attacked on the alkyl group. Next, if you take ionic compound AgCN, AgCN, uh, here AgCN is a covalent compound. Sorry, KCN is ionic compound, AgCN is a covalent compound. So here, lone pair will attack on the carbon. In this case, carbon will attack on the carbon. So you will get, uh, in this case, you will get cyanide. In this case, you will get isocyanide. Here also same way. This is ionic compound. So nitrogen will attack. K plus O minus, O minus will attack. This is covalent compound, that's why nitrogen have lone pair, nitrogen will attack on ethyl group, ethyl group. Got it right. Next important one, no? addition of HCl, HBr, HI to alkene. If you take unsymmetrical alkene, unsymmetrical alkene, it follows Marconica fuel. It follows which will tell me? Marconica fuel. In Marconica fuel, remember here, bromine will attack it, bromine will attack it, less hydrogens containing double bonded carbon. Right, H plus to Br minus. Br minus will attack it. Less hydrogens double bonded carbon. Here also, Cl minus will attack it. Less hydrogens containing double bonded carbon. Here also, Br minus will attack it. Less hydrogen. So, here two hydrogens, here one hydrogen. Less hydrogen. This is the Morgan curve fruit. Now, let us write the product. See here. CH3, CH2, CH, CH3. Where bromine will attack? Here bromine will attack. Got it. And next one, let us take this one. CH3, okay now. So Cl minus will attack here, here hydrogen. And next one, hydrogen, hydrogen. So hydrogen is attacked here, and here also hydrogen is there. And bromine will attack at less hydrogen containing double bonded carbon, which is called as Marconi Kauf rule. Marconi Kauf rule is very, very important. Next reason is addition of hydrogen bromide in presence of peroxide. Which follows anti Marconi Kauf rule. Anti Marconi Kauf rule. According to anti Marconi Kauf rule, here bromine free radical, bromine free radical will attack at more hydrogens containing double bonded carbon. Opposite to Marconi Kauf. Okay, here also bromine will attack at more hydrogens containing double bonded carbon. Don't forget hydrogen bromide peroxide. This should be there for anti Marconi Kauf rule, but not HCl and HI. HCl, HI are not there. Okay, only HBr. Got it. So let us write the product for this first one. CH3. CH3, CH2, CH2, bromine will attack here. One bromo, propane. Hydrogen will attack on this carbon. And next one. Take benzene ring. Okay, CH2, 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 bromine will attack here. Okay, more hydrogen containing double bond carbon. Anti sorry, anti Markov of rule also very important. And next one is alcoholic KOH. Or sodium methyl oxide in ethanol or sodamide, which follows set of rule. Even set of rule also very important, right? Set of rule. So in this case, in this case, see here, <coughs> what is the reagent? Alcoholic KOH. It means KOH in ethyl alcohol. And next, sodium methyl oxide in ethyl, ethyl alcohol and sodamide, right? According to set of rule, set of rule, right? Here, uh, before to that, these three are dehydrohalogenating agents. What are the agents? Tell me, dehydrohalogenating agents. So. Hx will be eliminated. Hx, either HCl or HBr. Hx will be eliminated. So, this is alpha carbon next to that beta carbon next to that beta carbon. Second case, the halogen attached, attacking carbon is a halogen attached carbon is alpha. Next one is beta, and here next one is a beta. Right. According to Sage of rule, according to Sage of rule, here hydrogen is removed from less hydrogen containing beta carbon to give more substituted alkene. Okay, so here two hydrogens are there, here one hydrogen is there. So from here hydrogen will be eliminated. Then what will you get? Tell me. CH3 major product, which is the major product. Okay, CH3, CH. From here hydrogen is eliminated, right? CH, CH2, CH3. 
right one pentane will be formed next here here two hydrogen here one hydrogen same way from less hydrogen containing beta carbon hydrogen will be eliminated from here chlorine will be eliminated then what will you get ch3 ch3 double bond ch ch3 two methyl butene will be formed right so here hcl hbr is eliminated remember hydrogen will be eliminated from less hydrogen containing beta carbon to give more substituted alkene which is more stable due to hyper conjugation and next one is magnesium and triether this is also important reaction see here in this reaction alkyl halide react with magnesium and triether magnesium and triether to give rmgx which is called as grignard reagent grignard reagent very simple magnesium you can insert between r and x and if you take aryl halide same way if you take aryl halide what happens tell me take benzene ring and mgx it is called as what phenyl magnesium halide alkyl magnesium halide both are called as grignard reagent for example methyl chloride is treated with magnesium in presence of dry ether to give methyl magnesium chloride next reagent sodium in dry ether which is used in wood reaction fittig reaction and wood fittig reaction wood reaction reactant alkyl halide fittig reaction aryl halide wood fittig reaction one alkyl halide one aryl halide is participated in case of wood reaction you can observe two alkyl groups are joined together to form alkene fittig reaction two aryl groups are joined together to form diphenyl wood fittig reaction one aryl aryl group one alkyl group joined together to form aryl halide for example toluene is formed got it right next rmgx grignard reagent when a grignard reagent react with source of h plus source of h plus is nothing but h2o next ethyl alcohol plus ammonia etc right so here here r minus mg plus r minus and mg plus so r minus will attack at h plus h plus to form alkene you can observe to form alkene for example here ch3 minus ch3 minus right joined with hydrogen totally will get ch4 methane next here c2 h5 c2 h5 d2 or nothing but heavy water right how heavy water split to tell me d plus od minus this is heavy water okay so d plus will attack so that's why you will get d got it and next reaction is next reagent bromine in carbon tetrachloride or chlorine in carbon tetrachloride right which is used to find out double bond or triple bond when bromine react with alkene a reddish brown color of bromine disappears in this reaction if you take for example bromine if you take bromine in carbon tetrachloride then what will you get ch2 ch2 in this reaction here one bromine and here one bromine is added got it chlorine or bromine in presence of heat or uv light or n bromo succinamide if you take these reagents allylic or benzylic halogenation takes place first what is the meaning of allylic here double bond sp3 carbon which is attached to double bond this is called as allylic position here sp3 carbon which is attached to benzene ring this is benzylic position allylic position benzylic position halogen will be attached so it is called as allylic or benzylic halogen halogenation you can use any reagents from this now let us write the product see take cyclo hexene at allylic position down also you can write it okay na at allylic position chlorine will be attacked next one take benzene ring no2 ch ch3 at benzylic position at benzylic position bromine will be attacked if you take nbs n bromo succinamide also same kind of reaction takes place and next alkene react with chlorine in presence of sunlight or high temperature sunlight or high temperature to form alkyl halide you will get alkyl halide so ch3 CH2 here hydrogen free radical is replaced by chlorine free radical like this you will get got it right and next one sodium alkoxide sodium alkoxide which is used in the williamson ether synthesis williamson ether synthesis important named reaction in this williamson ether synthesis we have to take only primary alkyl halide secondary tertiary you can take it can give alkene also right so here primary alkyl halide react how do you write product very simple from here ro you can take ro from here you can take r ether you will get ether same to same here example ch3o you can take from here ch3 you can take dimethyl ether will form right what is the code to remember williamson ether synthesis rona rx rona rx right and next reagent is sodium alkynide which is used to increase the number of carbons in the alkene for example let us take this one here 1 2 3 3 carbons are there which is react with methyl chloride here 
the CH3 will attack here. Then what will you get? Tell me. CH3, C triple bond, CH3 will get. You can increase the number of carbons in alkyne. Got it, right? Alkyl halide in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, which is Lewis acid, which is used in Friedel-Craft alkylation reaction. Here, for example, chlorobenzene is treated with methyl chloride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. Here, CH3 plus is electrophile. The CH3 plus electrophile attack at para position, which is major, major product, or the position, minor product. Okay, now, here, chlorine is ortho para directing group. That is the reason CH3 plus attack at para position and ortho position. And next one is, Friedel-Craft acylation reaction, we are taking acyl halide, acyl halide in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. For example, uh, let us take acetyl chloride, acetyl chloride, here CH3CO plus is electrophile, which is attacked at para position, COCH3, COCH3 or the position, COCH3. Okay, now, and next, chlorine or bromine in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 or any Lewis acid, here first it react with chlorine, here Cl plus is electrophile, Cl plus is electrophile, it will give chlorobenzene. Next, when chlorobenzene is treated with chlorine in presence of anhydrous AlCl3, here Cl plus is electrophile, which is attacked at para position and ortho position. Para position, major product, or the position, minor product. Okay, now. Next reason, NaOH, this is temperature and pressure, followed by react with H plus, which is Down's process. First, chlorobenzene react with NaOH, and this temperature and pressure here, Cl is replaced by ONA. First, you can write what? ONA, ONA. Conditions are important. Next, which react with H plus ion, Na plus is replaced by H plus, then you will get phenol, you will get phenol. Here, when ethyl chloride is treated with KCN, it will give ethyl cyanide, AgCN will give isocyanide, KNO2 give, right, ethyl nitrite, AgNO2 give nitroethane, right, reasons I have given, right, I made one video already, one video already, you can check in playlist, haloalkanes playlist, you can observe reason for this, got it? Next class, I will give all organic conversions from Hello Alkins chapter. Okay. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe our channel and share this video to your friends and classmates. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye bye. One more important thing reagents of Hello Alkins and Hello Irons PDF. I am sharing in my Telegram channel. You can check link in description box. Love you all.